Welcome everyone, in today's video we will see how we can create a random alphabet in LabVIEW. A random alphabet or I can say a random character. So for that purpose let's just go on to the block diagram and let's just start doing. So first as we know there is no direct um, like we generate a random number we cannot generate the random alphabet. So we must have to define the alphabets. Let's just say we write the alphabets one by one. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. So we have all the alphabets in here. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. So we have the alphabet so what we can do next is we need them in the uppercase as well so we can use to an uppercase so what we can do next is what we we can concatenate these two strings so that we will have the both uh, the upper uppercase and lowercase we have both the characters as well so now what we can do is we can simply use a while loop and place a delay of one second let's just say this is already or set it on one second and then what we have is the output as both the lowercase and uppercase alphabets so now we can use a random number generator we can select it to uh, right now it is already u64 which means unsigned 64 bit we have not uh, double processing number so we can use it directly but what we can use in here is uh, string subset basically connect it with that and so it means that that will give us the offset basically a random offset but the random offset must be the length of this uh, the string basically so what we can use is the length of the string and we can connect it in here and the upper bound of this we can give is um, minus one as a decrement because it starts from zero as you can see this start from lower bound start from zero so the upper bound should be uh, one less as the whole string since it starts from zero as you know so now what we can do is the length we can define is one and the input string that we have in here is this one and now we can create an indicator and now we can just create a control button in here as well and now if I just place it in here and try to run it let's just see if it creates or not uh, let's just make it bigger uh, so that it will be more visible to you let's make it 36 and change the color to blue and now if I run as you can see it randomly generates any random alphabet basically but still it is making a mistake what the mistake is if you select i64 right now it is selected i64 as you can see in here it will be creating a if I create an indicator it will also be creating a negative number as you can see this is creating between a negative number which is not required in this case so what we do is we will select u64 again delete this out and now if i run my program this will create uh, will always a positive number in the range of the length of the string basically we can also uh, define uh, the similar um, things like we can make another random number generator as well as this one and connect it in here so that we can 
increase the random alphabets and similarly we can insert a concatenate string insert string palette and concatenate increase its numbers by one and we can also give the same input as from here the upper bound and the string input as from here so now that will give me the two numbers basically as you can see these are giving me the two random numbers uh, automatically random sorry random alphabets so if we can if we want to involve any of the random uh, alphabet uh, random character then you can just simply involve like this the question mark the comma the dot the plus sign is equals to sign uh, and similar other things exclamatory mark at the rate of mark hashtag mark and similar other kind of characters so this will create a random alphabet as well as random uh, character in the string indicator